In this video, we're going to talk about how to create eBay selling account professionally and set up each and everything so we are ready for selling. I'm going to divide this video into three different portions. Timestamp for each and everything will be inside the description. Number one, I'm going to talk about the things that you need to know before you actually create an eBay account. This is really, really important. The second thing, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to walk you through eBay each and everything and I'm going to show you what to do once you are creating your eBay account. The third thing we actually going to design a logo for our business and set up our eBay account so it will look professional and it is ready for selling. So without any delay let's get started. My name is Zen Shah and I've been selling on eBay and Amazon from past 10 years. My target on this channel is to actually help you make 100,000 pound every single year so if you are interested in that kind of stuff consider subscribing let's talk about the things that you need to know before you start selling on eBay. So before we create the new eBay account, the first thing to keep in mind that if you already have an eBay account and maybe you are only using it to buy the items from eBay, you can actually use the same account to sell the item on eBay as well. There are the changes that you will have to make, which I will show you further down in the video once I will talk about how to set up the account as well. The reason we're gonna use the same account because it is very likely that you're going to have some kind of feedback from other sellers. It doesn't matter you have a feedback as a buyer or you have a feedback as a seller because on the eBay ID, whenever the customer will see your eBay ID, there will be the number in front of it and that will show how much feedback you have. So the bigger the number is, the bigger the social proof you have. So the buyer will feel comfortable buying from you. So that's the reason I encourage people people to actually use the same account if you already have an account as well. Second thing to keep in mind that eBay and PayPal are no longer working together. So if you need to receive a payout from eBay, you need to link your bank account. And the bank account have to be in a country where the eBay is natively available. So if your account is in the UK, it has to be a UK bank account. If your account in the US, then it has to be a US bank account. Now the question is, a lot of people ask me, Zed, can I link my own personal account or it has to be a business account. If you register a limited company, then it has to be the separate bank account for a limited company. It has to be a business bank account. As a small scale, once you are starting out, you're going to register as a sole trader. You can always upgrade further down in the line. You can link your own personal account. But I highly recommend creating another account specific for eBay, even if it is your own personal account. Just create another account. So all the payout you're going to be receiving in that account, all the expenses you're going to be doing from that account. So at the end of the day, you will know how much profit you are making. So everything stays really to the point and effective as well. The third thing that you need to keep in mind that if you've been previously banned by eBay, I do not recommend creating another account because even if you're using a different details, for example, your family member details or friend details, even if you have a permission from them as well, eBay still know your computer IP address. They still know your Wi-Fi Mac address. So easily they can spot that out and they will actually ban the new account again as well. So if your account been previously banned, the best thing to do is to actually call eBay and 99% of the time you will get your old account back as well. You just have to speak with the customer services. But I will not just go ahead and create another account because you've been previously banned on eBay. Even though it's been a permanent suspension, you can reach out to them in many different ways. For example, going on a Twitter and then talking to eBay customer service. So far, if you're getting a value from the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Both of these things are free. I'm not just saying please do it now. So let me share my screen now and I show you how to actually create an eBay account and then I will show you how to actually set up and design the logo for your eBay business as well. So on my screen right here, I am at Google. Depending on whatever country you are, it doesn't matter as long as eBay is natively available there. Just come on to Google and click on eBay sign up. So once you're going to 
click on that one. If you are in the UK, make sure you are creating an account on eBay.co.uk. If you are in, let's say, Italy, make sure you're creating an account on eBay.it. And if you are in the US, you need to make sure you're creating an account on eBay.com. So I am in the UK. The process is going to be similar all across the country. Just click on the relevant link depending on your country. Once you're going to click on that link, now eBay is going to ask you to create an account right here. Here, normally you're going to have two choices. So either you can create a personal account or you can create a business account right here. The only difference between two of them, personal account is for somebody who normally use their account to buy the stuff on eBay and sometimes they need to sell the item on eBay as well. The things they actually used in their own house and they no longer need that item. But the business account is for somebody even though they are selling a used item or new item, but their purpose is as a business to sell the item on eBay on a regular basis and make the profit from it as well so as a seller you always always have to create a, a business account because the personal account according to ebay terms and condition is not the account that you can use on a regular basis so your account can get banned as well the other thing that you need to keep in mind that if you create a personal account the thing with the personal account that your selling limit is going to be very low because ebay don't aspire to you to sell the item on a regular basis so selling limit mean once we create the account on ebay ebay gonna actually limit you how many items you can sell per month so by just having a business account that limit will be higher which is very very important right here in this case scenario as well so if we go to our business account, the first option that we have is a business name. A lot of people get confused by it. They think about business name that they need to register a limited company and that name you have to put right here. That is also right if you go down the route if you register a limited company. But even though you are not registering a limited company, you can pick the business name for yourself. It can be any business name. But what I normally recommend, what you can do is just go on to your company house website just google company house and then it gonna give you this link where it's gonna show you get the information about a company and here what you can do is the search for a different different names that the name that you need to pick for your ebay account if the company under that name already exists then i will not actually pick that name for my ebay store because later down in the line let's say you need to register a limited company i need to make sure that name is actually available so you can come on to the company house website and you can search the register because this is completely free to do so this gonna actually future proof your name so you you know that this name is going to be available even though you are not registering a limited company at this stage as well so right here let's say i pick the name zen sha ebay i'm just giving you one example it doesn't have to be that one but just you need to make sure it is available and then the business email here you're gonna need to put the business email that you're gonna use it can be gmail it can be yahoo whatever but i recommend just the business email that you're going to be using for ebay keep that email separate as well because you know this is the one you are only using for ebay and the email are not mixing up so creating another email account is just a simple process so just create another email account and use that as a business email right here you're just going to need to pick up the password right here whatever the password that you're going to choose and then you're going to select your business location so for me is a united kingdom and here this is very important it says that i only want to buy on ebay i don't want to sell so if you check this box then this is not going to be a selling account it is just going to be a buying account leave that box empty do not do anything with that box and once you do that just simply click on register and that's all you have to do in order for you to have a basic registration for your ebay account now I'm going to go inside the eBay 
and I'm going to show you how to actually set up the payment method where you're going to need to receive the payment. So you're going to need to link your eBay account with it. And I received this uh, comment from a lot of people that they created a, created a account and they went on to their dropshipping software. They tried to list something and it is coming as an error because your payment information is not added. And it's not a straightforward process as I talked about earlier. We have to create a dummy listing in order for eBay to prompt us to that particular page where we need to add our uh, payment information. So let's go to my eBay right here and then we're going to click on a selling. Once we click on selling, we're going to be at uh, this particular page right here. Here we're going to just simply click on a list an item. We are not listing anything. We are just creating a dummy listing so we can actually add the payment information. Once you're going to click on list an item, you're going to be on to this page right here. Here you can type anything. Just let's say type iPhone cable. If you just type iPhone cable, anything, let's say iPhone cable charger, I will just pick up that one and then I will just simply search and then I can select any item. We are not actually selling that item. We are just creating a dummy listing. So new and then continue to listing right here. Once I will come on to this page right here, the picture is already added. The title is already there. I'm just going to need to fill up some information so it actually allow me to make this listing right here as well so description we can type anything in a description doesn't matter the selling price let's say 919 499 quantity one uh postage we need to select something for the postage domestic service right here let's say we do this one and then um, we offer a free shipping right here uh one working day this is just two it will let me add the information. So once I'm going to click on list with displayed fees underneath, now eBay going to ask me to actually, you know, looks like you are selling, but now you need to add the payment method inside your account as well. So I wish they just make it simple. We don't have to create a dummy listing. So we can just go to our software and we can create the listing from our dropshipping software. So even if you are you just need to create a listing i hope that they will make this uh, simple in the future so once we're going to come to the payment page where we need to add all the information this is very very simple right here as well so you're going to add your first name you're going to add your last name you're going to add your address city and then you're going to put your postcode the phone number is if you haven't added the phone number you need to add one phone number as well which need to be verified so ebay just going to send you the text and inside the text it's there going to be a code which you need to verify so just fill up the detail and then it's going to take us to the next page where we need to add our banking information so once we're going to need to add the payment information right here then ebay going to give us an option onto the page that you can actually log in to your ebay bank account so once we need to add our banking information you can actually log into your business or personal bank account and then ebay will automatically pull up the detail you do not need to worry about it this is actually a very secure process so you can log into your ebay bank account this will get instantly verified a lot of time we might have a bank account which is not listed right here so let's say it's a tied bank or it is a star link bank or monzo or something like that then it is not listed right here so once you're going to click on log into your ebay bank account then you can actually choose the one right here so if your bank is not listed then you're just simply going to click on my bank is not listed and then what the ebay going to do they're going to manually ask you to put your sort code and account number if you do that and you're not actually logging into your bank account what gonna happen Happen, then the eBay will actually make a small deposit into your account. Then it doesn't matter what will be the deposit, maybe 1p, 2p, 5p, 7p, but you need to come back and then tell in ebay that how much was that amount so they will normally do two transactions let's say one is a 5p or one is 6p you need to come back and put those two transactions and this is how you're gonna verify your account and then that's all it is 
then you can create a listing and then your eBay account is ready to go. So now what we need to do is to actually create a logo because that looks really professional if you have a logo inside your eBay account. I'm going to show you how to create a free logo. But if we come on to the eBay page right here, the way I came right here, this is your name right here. And then once you're going to click on your name, all you have to do is just click on your username right here. So we're going to click on username and then you're going to be on this particular page. Right now, this will be the same for you. I don't have any kind of logo and that looks really, really unprofessional. So if we come back and then just simply click on edit profile, this is where we can actually upload our logo but obviously i'm going to show you how to actually create a logo so edit profile here you just need to tell something about yourself for example you know just a little bit information what you are passionate about you know your store we are based in uk or we are selling top quality item that's what you need to type something do not leave this empty that is very very important and in order for us to create a uh, upload a logo this is a pencil sign right here on the top of your this uh, kind of dummy picture right here so once we do that then the ebay gonna ask us to actually create a logo now in order for us to create a logo just simply come back to google right here there is a free website called canva you don't need to pay anything it's completely free to get started with the canva and i'm gonna leave the link for canva inside the description in order for you to actually create a free logo but i'm gonna show you how to do that so once we come inside the canva on the top right hand corner right here there is going to be a option called create a design right here and this is going to be completely free so if we click on create a design it can ask at what kind of design you want to create so we're going to click on a logo right here once you're going to click on that one canva will actually give you a lot of a lot of different templates as well and they are really really easy to use them you can select a different category so let's say we put a online shop we will do that and then a lot of free templates gonna come up as well so let's say i like uh, this particular design some of the design are going to be paid so if that have a crown sign on it right like this then it means it is a, a paid design so i'm gonna pick up just simply a free design let's say i like this particular design as well and now i can make a changes so i will do instead of online shop my shop name was zensha i'm just gonna type zensha and that's it my logo is ready i can choose the motto for me if i need to make some changes once you're done with it just simply come back right here and just click on share so if you click on share it's gonna give you the option to actually actually download this for free inside your computer and then you can just simply come on to ebay just click on a pencil icon and you can upload that file and your account is actually ready to go so before we finish this is a step-by-step -step series where i'm gonna explain each and everything as a step-by-step -step guide so the next part will be linked right here which i'm gonna show you after you have created an account what will be the next step do check the links inside the description like and subscribe take care